<laughs> OK. Uh, so let's see what's uh, an encryption switching protocol. Uh, it's a two-party protocol introduced by Kuto, Peters, and Rochevel uh, last year at Crypto. Um, it involved two um, homomorphic uh, encryption schemes um, with a threshold um, decryption. Uh, one will be additively homomorphic. Um, <coughs> with uh, a red color, and one will be multiplicatively uh, homomorphic. Uh, and we want to have um, protocols for switching from an encryption uh, of uh, M with the additive um, <coughs> protocol uh, to an encryption of the same M um, for the multiplicative uh, homomorphic uh, encryption scheme. Um, so this uh, switch protocol will be a two-party protocol, and we want to have the reverse protocol from the multiplicative encryption to the additive uh, encryption. So for all the talk, the red box uh, will designate uh, an additive homomorphic encryption of M, and the blue box a uh, multiplicative one. Um, <coughs> so this kind of um, uh, encryption switching protocols gives naturally rise to a secure two-party computation to protocol. Um, let's see that with um, um, uh, an artificial uh, example. Um, we have uh, that function where A uh, is the secret input of Alice and B uh, the secret input of uh, Bob. So Alice and Bob starts to encrypt the secret uh, using the um, additive um, um, encryption scheme uh, and send the encryption of A and B to, to each other. Uh, and then both uh, Alice and Bob can compute uh, an additive encryption of uh, A plus B and uh, A minus B. Uh, <coughs> and then they use the switch protocols uh, from the additive encryption to the multiplicative uh, one. Uh, and then both can compute each on their side um, the encryption uh, uh, to the power u uh, and v by, by uh, the traditional exponentiation uh, algorithm. Um, and then since we want uh, that function with uh, a plus, uh, we have to switch back to the additive uh, protocol. Um, and then both can compute uh, the encrypted result and then decrypt it to, with a two-party decryption to get the, the result. Um, so here, uh, we have a constant number of ones with respect to uh, the exponent u and v. <coughs> and uh, 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 a log of u and log of v operation uh, to compute um, the, that power. So with this kind of, um, uh, this is an artificial example, but this gives you an idea on the which kind of uh, function uh, encryption switching protocols are uh, efficient both in terms of number one and uh, computation uh, for um, two-party computation. So let's see in more details uh, the original <coughs> construction of um, Kuto at uh, Ali. Um, they, uh, for the uh, instantiation, they use the Payet encryption scheme uh, for the additive homomorphic scheme. Uh, which is defined over z over nz, where n is an uh, RSA integer. Um, and they use uh, Edgamal for the mitigative uh, scheme. So the main technical problem is that Edgamal is traditionally uh, defined um, for the square of uh, z over pz. You can define it uh, for the symbol of uh, the, the set of element of uh, Jacobi symbol one in Z over NZ, but in order to, to, to extend it to uh, the whole group, um, they have to design a, a clever solution in order to not uh, uh, lead the factorization of N. And this gives a complex uh, threshold description for, for a gamma, and this results in a large number of one. Um, and it seems that it makes um, a generic approach for designing such protocol uh, impossible. Uh, so our alternative is to use um, a scheme uh, that we designed with uh, Fabien Laguillemi uh, two years ago at uh, CTRSA uh, instead of the, the Payet scheme. Uh, so this CL scheme um, 
as a message space, which is Z over PZ, um, where P is a prime. Uh, so you use that. And for the multicate scheme, we stick with uh, L gamma. So we only have to extend uh, L gamma over uh, the whole group, uh, Z over PZ, which is a lot more simple uh, than the case of Z over NZ. Uh, this gives rise to a natural uh, threshold description and reduce the number of rounds of the original construction. And by um, looking, um, inspiring by the construction of Kuto at uh, Ali, uh, this gives rise uh, 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 to a simple generic uh, construction. So we we'll see in more detail, uh, uh, details of that uh, construction. Um, so first, let's see uh, some building uh, blocks. Um, <clears throat> so first, we use a linearly homomorphic equation scheme. Uh, uh, use that uh, <coughs> previously, but let's see uh, that uh, in more details. Uh, so it's a public and cushion scheme. Um, and we suppose that the set of pretexts uh, is a ring. Uh, and if we have an encryption of M and M prime, uh, we have a public function that takes the uh, encryption and the public key uh, and gives an encryption of um, uh, the sum of M and M prime. And we also have uh, an operation, uh, a scalar, sort of scalar multiplication. There's a typo, it should be an A here. Uh, that take as input the public key, the encryption of M and A, and gives an encryption of uh, <coughs> A times M, where A is a plain text. Uh, so, example of linearly homomorphic execution scheme are the Goldwasser Michaeli <coughs> scheme, which, takes, uh, uh, which has uh, a text uh, space uh, Z over 2Z, uh, the, by the scheme that we saw. And, the scheme with uh, Fabian Aguillomi that takes uh, Z over PZ where P is a prime. Um, there are many others. Uh, that's the one that uh, I will use uh, here. Um, we also want um, to have a two-party decryption for, uh, for our scheme, our description scheme. So <coughs> this is a special case of uh, threshold uh, crypto system. We only have two party here. So to fix the notation, uh, SKA will be the share of the circuit key of uh, Alice, SKA will be the share of Bob. Um, we do uh, encryption as usual. And uh, for our generic contribution, we suppose that um, the uh, uh, decryption protocol uh, is in a single one. Uh, that means that uh, Alice has a, a encryption of M combine it with a um, uh, uh, share of the circuit keys, do some computation, and send uh, the result to Bob. And Bob finish uh, the computation with uh, his share uh, and output uh, M. There is no um, other uh, uh, round. Um, and this is critical to prove the security of the generic construction, that there is uh, only a single round. Um, another BD box. Um, that uh, we use uh, is a um, protocol for multiplication for linear encryption, um, an interactive protocol. Um, so we can see this protocol in many works on uh, um, MPC with linear uh, uh, encryption. Uh, for example, <coughs> in a paper of uh, Command of Guard and Nielsen. Um, so Alice and Bob start with encryption of uh, X and Y, additive uh, encryption, and they want to uh, compute an additive uh, encryption of the product of uh, X and Y. So Alice start to, um, uh, to uh, sample a random and uh, <coughs> non-zero uh, uh, element of the plain text uh, group. Uh, from X and R, she can uh, compute an encryption of minus R X. X. Uh, she sends this to, to Bob. Uh, she also computes an encryption of uh, R plus uh, Y and initiates uh, two-party decryption uh, with Bob. Uh, from that, Bob <coughs> gets uh, R plus uh, Y, multiplied by his encryption of X uh, to get that. 
and <coughs> subtract uh, this uh, to get uh, the encryption um, of uh, X time Y. Uh, so now uh, let's see the generic uh, construction. Um, so we start uh, with a generic construction without dealing uh, with the zero element. Uh, inspired by um, the works of um, Kuto at uh, Ali. Um, so to simplify, we will suppose that the set of plain text is a feed. It can be something that looks like a feed, uh, like uh, Z over NZ, where N is an RSA integer. Um, but we it uh, as a feed. Um, <coughs> we start with uh, our two encryption protocol, the additive one, and a multiplicatively uh, homomorphic uh, one, over the set of uh, non-zero, the group of non-zero uh, element. Um, and we, we suppose that we have a two-party decryption for both uh, crypto system in uh, only one one. Uh, as I said before, this allows to prove the zero knowledge of uh, our uh, generic construction without uh, any uh, additional properties. Um, so, Let's see how to switch uh, from uh, the additive protocol to the multiplicative protocol. So now Alice and Bob have a share for both the additive and the multiplicative uh, secret keys of, um, of the scheme. Um, so I start to uh, sample a random uh, element R, a non-zero one. She computes an inscription of um, additive encryption of M times R and an encryption of uh, the uh, <coughs> inverse of R. Uh, she sent that to Bob and initiated a two-party decryption for uh, the other one. Uh, Bob gets M times R in the, in the clear and uh, an encryption of uh, the inverse of R. You can then multiply both to get an encryption of, uh, of M. And we have the same protocol uh, in the other way around because all that we use uh, here is the property that we can, we have a scalar multiplication, we can multiply uh, a plain text by uh, an encryption. And we can do that uh, also with uh, the additive uh, uh, encryption. So we have a simple solution uh, and the reverse uh, is, the, is the same. <coughs> so uh, now uh, how can we deal uh, with the zero element? Um, Again, we, we follow the, the ideas of uh, Kuto at uh, Ali. Uh, we extend the uh, multiplicative um, uh, scheme uh, to deal with the zero by uh, defin defining this uh, bit B, uh, which is one if uh, M uh, is zero and uh, zero if M is not zero. Uh, like this, M plus B will be always uh, non zero uh, and we can encrypt it with uh, uh, our uh, multiplicative uh, scheme. Uh, and then uh, in order to decrypt, uh, we have to uh, encrypt B and we want to preserve the homomorphic properties. Um, so let's see that. Um, if we uh, look at uh, M, the zero element is absorbent. So if uh, we multiply to, to M, we, uh, we have that uh, truth table. Uh, and for B, uh, this means uh, that we have um, um, a no uh, gate. Um, and we want to uh, design an encryption of uh, B, which is homomorphic uh, with respect to, to, to the OR gate. Um, here we deviate, deviate from the original construction. Uh, we will uh, do that with um, uh, an additive uh, solution. Uh, so we will, um, if B is zero, we'll uh, set an element to, to zero. If, it, if, it's, if B is one, uh, we'll consider a random non-zero element. And like this, if we had, uh, we had that truth table, which is the same uh, as uh, as for B, uh, because if we had uh, two random elements, we get a random element if the uh, uh, random non-zero element if the measure space is sufficiently uh, large. Uh, so we get uh, that. Um, so M is big M is uh, uh, is M plus B. Uh, we encrypt M plus B, 
Uh, that means if m is zero, we encrypt one, uh, and an additive uh, encryption of uh, of r uh, with uh, r a non-random non-zero element. And if m is zero, big M would be m plus b, so uh, this will be uh, uh, small m, and we encrypt uh, zero with the additive uh, scheme, um, and we can decrypt um, easily from that. Uh, so now let's see uh, how to switch. Um, so we still suppose, um, yeah. yeah, this is the notation of the previous uh, slide um, <coughs> in the first slide. Um, and uh, to be able to switch, um, like uh, in the original construction, we we'll suppose that we have um, a black box um, uh, and then the uh, zero test. Uh, to party protocols uh, that um, form an encryption, an additive encryption of X uh, give an uh, additive encryption of uh, the bit B. That is um, uh, one if um, X is zero and uh, an encryption of zero if uh, X is not uh, zero. So this can be instantiated with a uh, garbage circuit for, for example, uh, but we treat that uh, uh, like a black box. Uh, so now, how to switch uh, with uh, this extension of the uh, <coughs> multiplicative scheme that deal with the zero and uh, to the uh, additive uh, scheme. So we start uh, for an equation uh, uh, like before. Uh, first, we switch uh, the first uh, coordinate uh, like before because m, big M is always non-zero, so we can apply the, the previous um, uh, algorithm, um, protocol to get additive encryption of big M. Uh, and now we have to, to see if we are how in this case or in this case. And for that, we apply the uh, EZT, EZT protocol to, uh, to R. Um, and it can be checked that the give uh, the, an uh, encryption, an additive encryption of the complementary bits of, uh, of the, the, the bit B. Uh, now we apply our protocol uh, that compute multiplication from uh, two uh, uh, additive encryption, uh, and we get an encryption, uh, additive encryption of uh, bar B uh, times M, and from the formula here, uh, can be checked that it is uh, uh, the additive encryption uh, of M. Uh, <coughs> so this gives uh, our protocol to switch uh, from uh, uh, the multiplicative side to the additive side, and the reverse way is um, more like the, the same. We use an EZT uh, uh, protocol, uh, and then it's more simple. We, we don't need uh, uh, to do a multiplication. So the reverse side is uh, uh, a bit more simple. Um, so now uh, let's look at our instantiation. Um, so now our Mr. Space uh, will be Z uh, over PZ. Uh, so as I said before, for the additive protocol, we use the CL scheme. Uh, that scheme uh, is an algorithmal type crypto system and is uh, defined over a class group of um, quadratic uh, order. And in this case, there will be uh, an order of discriminant uh, minus uh, P to the third. And in this class group, uh, we have the property that there is a subgroup of uh, order P. Uh, where the discrete algorithm problem is uh, very easy. Uh, just uh, <coughs> just a, a few operations to, to solve it. And this gives uh, an additive homomorphy uh, uh, by uh, encrypting M uh, in the exponent uh, in an algorithm type uh, scheme. Uh, by decrypting uh, an algorithm, we get uh, F to the power M. And it, <coughs> this F is a generator of the subgroup where the DL uh, is easy, so we get uh, M. So we don't have to restrict to, to small messages, and we have uh, homomorphy above uh, the, the wall uh, Z over PZ. Um, for the multiplicative uh, scheme, uh, we use uh, a variant of uh, El Gamal, so we only have to extend El Gamal to uh, from the square of uh, Z over PZ to the world multiplicative group. Uh, this can be done uh, like this. Uh, 
we consider a Sophie Germain prime. Um, in that setting, minus one um, uh, is not a square. Um, so uh, here we have the Legend symbol of, um, of M uh, and times M, it would be always a, a square. Uh, <coughs> so this gives M if M is a square and minus M uh, uh, if M is a non-square. Uh, and we uh, also uh, encode the, um, uh, the Legend symbol uh, like this uh, with a bit which is zero for square and one for non-square. Um, and we only have to encrypt that, that bit, uh, to be homomorphic over Z over to Z, and we can do that with the uh, uh, Gervasel Michaelis scheme. So we have the Ekermal part here, and here the um, uh, Gervasel Michaeli encryption of um, uh, the bit LM. Uh, so that's it for the two uh, scheme. Let's see uh, our result. Um, so first we will look at uh, that. We will compare the, our one complexity with the original solution. Um, so first for the, the switching protocol without uh, zero, um, <coughs> for the, the additive to the multiplicative, we have the same number of rounds because this is exactly the, the same solution. Uh, but in the reverse uh, uh, part, uh, we have the, uh, this is the same protocol as before, so only two ones. But uh, for the original uh, solution, there was that uh, LGML, complex LGML uh, decryption step uh, that led to uh, more ones. Uh, and for the full homomorphic, uh, the full uh, ESP protocol uh, that deals with the, the zero, um, for the first line, again, this is the same solution, so we have the same number of ones. And for the second line, we have again for, for one of gain uh, from that, and the other one uh, comes from um, um, the fact that um, we encrypt uh, additively um, the, the, the extra bit. Uh, so now if we look at the bit uh, complexity, um, so there is two ration. Uh, one is uh, with the uh, CL scheme that relies on uh, DDH, and the other one is a variant which for, less standard security assumption. And we can see that we are uh, more or less uh, uh, from the same magnitude of there are the uh, original solution. Uh, this comes from the fact that the CL scheme uh, handles more, uh, uh, more bits. We have more group elements than uh, in the, the Payet scheme, uh, especially in this case where P is very large. Um, so to conclude, um, there are other things uh, in the paper. Uh, so the ECL scheme um, uses a group of uh, an order, so there are some technicalities to, uh, for sharing the keys. Uh, so we uh, improve the key generation by simply with discrete Gaussian instead of uniform. This uh, reduces the number of uh, the, the, uh, the number of bits uh, of, uh, of the keys. Um, here we have a solution that uh, is secure in the honest bus curious model, but it's possible to enhance it to, um, uh, against active uh, adversary by uh, adding uh, zero knowledge proof. Um, and um, now for the um, open problem, there is still room of, um, for improvement. We saw that there is this um, uh, external uh, EZT protocol, uh, so it would be interesting to find a more uh, 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 other method to this with uh, the zero element. Um, and be, of course, we have a generic construction. It would be interesting to find other instance, uh, for example, based on uh, lattices. So this is more or less easy for the additive uh, morphy scheme, but uh, less for the uh, multiplicative uh, one. Uh, so that's it, thanks for your attention.